stars and planets, there are other celestial bodies that revolve around the solar system. Let's see what they are. Remember the gap between Mars and Jupiter that we talked about in our previous lesson? Do you think that this gap is occupied? If so, what is it occupied with? Planets? Stars? Nope, it's none of these. It is occupied by a group of celestial bodies called asteroids. These objects are rocky in appearance and are very, very big. Well, not as big as planets, but they are almost 60 miles in diameter. Most of them are bigger than the Empire State Building in America. And these asteroids are pretty dangerous as they have collided with the Earth and may do so in the future as well. Another member of celestial objects is called a comet. They revolve around the high elliptical path of the Sun. However, their period of revolution takes a pretty long time to be completed. When they orbit near the Sun, their appearance looks like a huge head with a tail. Actually, two tails where one is called a dust tail and the other one an ion tail. So do these comets pose any kind of threat to the Earth? Well, no one can say yet, but one thing is for sure, they are less dangerous than the asteroids. Remember when we talked about the new moon phase, where we cannot see the moon at all? Well, in this time of the clear sky, you can get a view of some streaks of light. We call these shooting stars, even though they are actually rocky in appearance and not actually stars. People sometimes say that whenever you catch sight of a shooting star, you should make a wish and it will come true. It's obviously not true, but hey, there's no harm in trying it out, right? There is actually another official name for these shooting stars. They are also called meteors. These are small objects that sometimes enter the Earth's atmosphere. And when they do, they start building up their speed. Now, due to the speed, the friction which is caused by the atmosphere of the Earth heats the meteor up. This results in the meteor glowing first and then evaporating at a really fast rate. Since they evaporate quickly, they never make it to the Earth's surface. However, there are some sneaky meteors that are so large that they can reach the Earth's atmosphere and land at the surface before evaporating completely. These types of large meteors have another name. They are called meteorites. Remember where we get our TV, radio and GPS signals from? That's right, we get them from satellites. When we talked about the moon revolving around the Earth, we'd seen that it's a satellite of the Earth. Well, the moon is a satellite alright, but a natural satellite. The satellites that give us the transmitting signals are called artificial satellites. These satellites are completely man-made and sent from the Earth itself into space and revolve around the Earth more closely than the Moon. Examples of such artificial satellites are the Hubble Space Telescope and Sputnik 1.